Hey guys! I hate the way I say hey guys. I always say the exact same in my intro. Hey guys! <laughs> no, hold on. <clears throat> What's up? Long time no see. Okay, so clearly I am not gonna give you a good intro. So let's just get into the video. I typically jump on camera at the end of my makeup process and have a full face and tell you guys what's happening. Not today, that's just not my vibe. I just honestly, you guys, have been in such a place. And um, you know like when you go through so much, like just hard, just hardships in life, just real life, you go through so much, like boom, 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 like when it rains, it pours. Sometimes you get to this place where you're almost like slap happy about it. You're like, oh, come on, like more bad shit can't actually happen, right? And like you almost start to like use comedy as a relief. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so um, I wanted to get on camera do my makeup and talk about just everything's been going on in my life because let's get real, I have not connected with you guys in so long, like as an actual like friendship connection. So I wanna talk about where I've been at mentally, physically, emotionally, I wanna address so many things I've been seeing online, just everything. I wanna talk about the year of 2019 and why I was just like disappeared. And I just wanna talk about everything today and get back on track. I feel like I'm in a place where I'm finally ready and I will tell you guys why. I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I talk to you guys. So if I am not like telling you every single product that I'm using, I apologize because I, I do have a lot of things I want to to discuss, sorry, I'm like already getting nervous because I definitely wanna talk about a few really heavy things in this video that isn't gonna be really easy, but it's been a long time coming and it's time to finally open up and have a discussion. So let's just start doing our makeup, shall we? Okay, so the first, I'm like frantically rubbing the primer in my fingers, I'm like, the first thing I wanna talk about. <laughs> okay, I need to calm down because you guys are gonna feel my energy and I know so many people watch my videos while they fall asleep, I don't know why, but people tweet me that all the time and you're gonna feel my energy and I'm gonna make you so wide awake. So let me <sighs> relax. The last video that you guys saw was pre-filmed, which it was not intended to be pre-filmed, but I filmed it at the very end of December and my intentions were to get it up for you just like three days later, but I ended up getting so sick that I couldn't and we'll end up getting to that subject in a minute. But in the meantime, I just wanna to talk to you guys about everything because I, have not literally sat down and filmed in this room in over four months. And even crazier, I have not worn makeup since New Year's Eve. And it is January 31st. I have not worn makeup in 31 days. That's the first time that I've been able to say that I've gone a whole month without makeup, probably since I was like 14 maybe, or even younger. Like I always wear makeup. So this feels so weird to me to even be doing this right now and I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do like a really basic look, especially since I'm talking to you guys, because I feel like I forgot how to do it. Like already this doesn't look normal. This is not how I normally do it, but we're just, <laughs> we're just gonna go with it, okay? Just love me, I'll get back to it, I promise. So I know a lot of you guys are so sick of me talking about how I was in LA. In my last video, there were so many comments and people laughing, being like, take a shot every time that she says LA, every time she talks about living in LA, but you know, it. <laughs> I lived in LA for three months, that was my life, so I'm gonna talk about it, you know? But as you guys know, most of you know who those don't. I'm gonna make it quick. My air conditioning leaked, whatever. I had to move out of my house for three months. I decided to go to LA because I had so much business stuff going on that I needed to take care of. Me, Jordan, and my three dogs, we moved out there for three months and I was so excited to go out there. I couldn't wait. I'm like, this is gonna be like the best three months, a fresh start. I'm gonna get to get so much work done, go to so many meetings, like, be so productive because typically all my meetings are done through video conferences and I'm always just like looking at everything through a webcam, you know, with people out in LA, like my manufacturers, my labs, all that jazz. I'm always like just on the phone constantly or FaceTime, whatever it may be. So it felt really good to go out there and actually be able to do like face-to-face -face stuff. And I was so excited and ends up, it was probably the most depressed I have been and God knows how long. And I don't use the word depression lightly. And I actually get upset when people go, oh, I'm so depressed. I'm like, no, you're on your period and you're craving nachos. That's not depression. Like depression is a really real thing and it takes people's lives and I don't talk about it lightly. And I was genuinely so depressed out there. I was so anxious. It was so dark. It was so hard for me to do anything. It was just terrible. When I got on the plane to come home, I was, I, I, I can't even tell you the excitement that I had. I cried so hard. I cried so hard when I walked into my front door. I'm so happy to be here. I have such an appreciation for my home. I don't wanna like piss people off because I know that thousands of people who watch my videos are gonna be from LA and from California, but 
I just could not believe how fake people are out there. Like just the fakeness that I just witnessed with my own two, two eyes just put me into such a bad headspace. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go anywhere. Cause I'm just like, there, these people are so two faced and I'm just not, I'm not about that. Like, honestly, you guys, I know that I like come across very vain and I am like, I do my makeup and I'm like, I look good. Let me post selfies. Let me do all these Snapchats and Instagram stories of me just looking fabulous and feeling myself, you know, absolutely woman power. I'm all about it. Feel yourself up and down, but that's not me. Like when the cameras are off, I'm such a family person. I'm such an honest person. I'm a good friend. I'm loyal. I know the things about myself that I love and adore like i know my good and my bad qualities <laughs> me and my bad qualities were close but being out there i was just like shook by how everything is business to everybody and i was just like oh my gosh like it was just aggressive so anyways i was in a really bad place for a lot of reasons but i'm home now and it feels incredible to be back and when i got back there were more issues with the house a whole nother wall had to come down because the water was leaking in a different area so the whole stairwell had to come down so we had so much construction and it was craziness and then of course the holidays boom hit me in the face we got home like december 12th and then christmas was right around the corner new year's i had a big new year's party with a bunch of me and jordan's friends which was awesome sorry i have to like learn how to talk and do my makeup at the same time so if this video is kind of jumpy i apologize because I get so distracted and I just stop doing my makeup because I'm so into what I'm trying to say to you guys. So on New Year's Eve, my really good friends, Mike and PK, who a lot of you guys know of them because they're always on like my Instagram and my stories. And also they have their own channel and their own Instagrams and they're amazing. But long story short, they came into town for my New Year's Eve party and PK got sick that day right before getting on the plane and ended up being so sick when he got to my house that he collapsed and like fully passed out. It was so scary. Thank God I had someone here who was a paramedic and they were able to like look at him, like look at his gums, his eyes. They're like, he is severely dehydrated. He needs to get to a hospital right now. Like he needs an IV bag with fluids. Like he is not in a good place, right? So he ended up having an ear infection and influenza. And so I kind of just like nursed him for like three days. He couldn't fly back home for like three or four days because of how sick he was obviously. So I kind of just like nursed him for a couple of days, me, him, Mike, and Jordan. And then when he left, I got it. So when he left, I was like, whoa, 2020 bitch. Like here I come, I'm so excited. Like I can't wait to live my best life, you know? No, I got, you guys, I know that people call me dramatic because I am naturally i'm such a drama queen see i know my flaws but also i'm fine with it but i swear to you this is the sickest i have been in my entire life i was sick for 18 days 18 days of literally on the couch talk about triggering to your depression not leaving the house for that long bad i got sick with influenza b if you want to be specific it was everything. It was a high fever. It was the aches. It was the chills. It was throwing up. It was diarrhea. I mean, it was literally everything. It was so bad. It was so awful. Then on top of it, I get a sinus infection. So if a sinus infection, I have the flu. Then I get my period and I'm like, oh my God, blessings. This is great timing. Thanks. Then as those things are starting to wrap up, I start throwing up blood and I'm like, okay, great. So Jordan, one day it was the middle of the afternoon. I was just like feeling miserable. And I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. At this point I had thrown up every single day for a while. And I run to the bathroom and I puke and it's just straight up blood. And Jordan's like, okay. Like he's so calm. He's like, we're gonna go to the doctor, okay? So he takes me to the hospital. I got admitted to the hospital. I was in the hospital two times this month. And turns out that I have a really bad infection, not anymore, cause I took my antibiotics, but I had a really bad infection that was spreading. And I did not know about it. The doctor's like, this infection has been there for a while. I was throwing up blood. I was peeing blood. It was so awful. And on top of it, the craziest thing about it, you guys, is I got this like side effect of like delirium, it's called. And I was so confused that there were moments where I didn't even know my dog's names. Like I didn't know anything. And they said it's because my infection was so bad. It was so freaking scary. So the reason I'm telling you guys all of this in such detail is because, well, I just wanna like catch you up on my life and what's been going on. But also I just wanna let you guys know where I've been because typically, even if I'm not filming a YouTube video, I'm still on Instagram stories. Like I'm still on Twitter. I'm still doing something because I like to interact with you guys. But like, I literally just disappear. Like I dropped off the planet for like two weeks straight because when you're that sick, you don't care about anything. And I'm telling you, 
this month has given me such an appreciation for my health because I feel like I'll find myself being so stressed or like upset about like little things in my life and they seem like such a big deal. But then when you're so miserably sick, you're like, why am I stressing about little things? Like I have my health, like health is just so important. And now that I'm feeling better, I'm just so grateful, like so grateful to finally be feeling like myself again. I know that so many of you feel the same way as me in the sense that January literally was the longest month to ever exist. I feel like there was like 90 days in the month of January. I kept looking at my calendar. I'm like, we're still here. Like it's shocking. And I tweeted about it today. And this is actually something that I really want to talk about on a serious note. Sorry, you guys, I am not talking about anything that I'm putting on my face, but I have done the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation along with the Born This Way by Too Faced. I use the Morphe concealer on my under eye and my face. I set my under eyes and now I'm gonna go in and set my face with a combination of Charlotte Tilbury and my Mood Light. Sorry, just, some of you guys might be here for the makeup and I'm just like. So I tweeted just a couple of hours ago saying January has been the worst year ever. And Obviously it's a joke because January is a month, not a year, but I tweeted saying it's been the worst year ever because it's like, it feels like it has been so stinking long. And you guys, I cannot believe how many people tweeted me, correcting me, calling me dumb, calling me names, saying I'm uneducated, that January is a month, not a year. And I was just sitting there laughing at these tweets. I'm like, you guys, it's a joke. And that's something that I wanna talk about. Like I know little old me, I'm not gonna be able to like make an actual change on social media. Like it's a very, 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 very big pond out there. But I cannot believe at this point in this day and age, how you cannot say anything without people coming at you and attacking you. And I just have to say right now, I see the tweets in the comments all the time from people being like, do you even like YouTube anymore? You don't even film anymore. Just admit it. You don't want to be a YouTuber. Just admit it. You're only here because you want to make money. Like I see those tweets. And if we're being totally transparent and honest with one another, yeah, filming gives me major anxiety now because I know that every single thing that I do, people are literally going to go in with a fine tooth comb and a microscope and pick apart everything. And that's not just me. That's everybody. But I feel like I get it pretty, pretty bad. I can't tell you how many times I sit down to film and press record and just cry, turn the camera off and leave the room. And I'm like, I'll do this tomorrow. I'll do this later because I just get triggered by it because I've gone through so many things and I have made so many mistakes. And that's another thing is I feel like I can't ever talk about things openly because people are gonna be like, you're playing the victim. You're being a victim, Jacqueline Victim Hill. Like this is a prime example that I wanna give to you guys about what I'm saying. Like I can't say anything and I feel like afraid to talk and I feel afraid to get on camera and like say anything or speak my mind because when Demi Lovato performed at the Grammys just last week, I got several tweets and a handful of DMs from people saying that they thought that we looked alike during her performance. And I responded to someone on Twitter who said that and I said, I'll take that as a compliment. And then I put heart emojis, right? For 24 hours, girls were coming at me saying things like, well, why wouldn't you take it as a compliment? What do you mean? I'm just saying I take it as a compliment. Like I even responded to one girl cause I was like, huh? And girls were saying how, oh, well, yeah, she wouldn't take you. She, she's saying that because Demi Lovato has gained weight and Jacqueline always talks about how fat shaming is so wrong. But then when it comes to her, she's got an attitude and I'm like, what? Like wh what is going on? Like literally I said, I will take that as a compliment. Demi Lovato is freaking gorgeous. Like I didn't even think about her weight. It's like at the point where I feel like I could look at a girl and say, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. And someone would be like, well, why wouldn't she look beautiful? Are you not a feminist? Are you shaming her? I'm like, ah, oh! like that, it's literally that aggressive. It's that aggressive. It's never like that in person though, ever. I've never had an experience with anybody in my life that's been that sensitive in person, but online it is, and it makes it very difficult. But yeah, I get so irritated by it. I'm like, seriously, like, take a chill pill and then I have to respond and I'm just like, oh, I need to get better at that. I really do. But it's hard because like my group of friends and my family members, we are the least sensitive people you'll ever meet. Now, not when it comes to like emotions, you know, like if something sad happens, I have a very sensitive group around me. We're all cancers, so we'll cry at the drop of a dime. But when it comes to like poking fun at each other and just like talking like in a playful way, like there's no sensitivity allowed in like my group of people. Like we're just lighthearted and easy and we know that everyone has a good heart and good intentions. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe people just don't think that, you know, I have a good heart or other influencers don't have a good heart. I don't know, but it's just, it's getting, 
it's aggressive. All I have to say is those of you out there who have good thoughts, who see a picture or watch a YouTube video and you think something positive, comment. Comment on anyone's video or picture or tweet that you like. Any positivity that you can bring to the world is so necessary because this is not about me or my community. It, I mean, it is, but it's about everything, every community, every industry. It's like, just, if you have anything nice to say, say it. Because the people who have nasty things to say, they are proud to give their opinion. So we should be too. When I'm scrolling, even if it's someone who I know is never gonna see my comment in a million years, you know, someone who has 20, 40, 50, 100 million followers, if I see something that I like, I comment on it because it's like, I just wanna add to that positivity. You know, I want them to have one extra comment of kindness because I know that everybody gets hate. So it's like, why not add some happiness in there? So I just encourage you guys as my followers, as my hillsters, my jackpack, just to do that. Like in 2020, when you have a nice thought, comment it and say it. If you're staying in a Starbucks and you like someone's shirt or they have beautiful cheekbones or whatever it is, say it. I compliment people all the time in public. Sometimes I feel like it makes them uncomfortable, but I don't care. And it makes people feel good. It lightens up their day. So I just wanna encourage my followers to start doing that in 2020, because I think that it could be very impactful. If you just compliment someone like a random stranger in public, tweet me and tell me and I will favorite your tweet. I will heart your tweet. I will support you in that because I think that's freaking awesome. So many people are so nasty. Let's be kind. I'm into it. I feel like this video is literally all over the place and people are either gonna love it or hate it. But I needed to start somewhere. I've been gone for so long, like just absent-minded and actually gone from social media and just sick and depressed that I just needed to do just why does my nose contour look like that on camera absolutely not but yeah I just needed to like do like a startup video where I can just feel like myself again because I feel like after everything that's gone on and when I say everything that's gone on I'm talking about so much stuff that you guys have absolutely no idea about but just behind the scenes stuff in my personal life that I would love to talk to you guys about, but it's like tea. Like if I told you some things that have been going on, you'd be like, oh my God, and there'd be drama videos everywhere. And I'm just not about that. But there's just been so much going on and I just need to like sit down and do my makeup for the first time in a month and just restart and talk to you one-on-one -on -one and just get back into the swing of things. On another note, I tried a new tanner, sunless tanner that's on my body right now by Bondi Sands. And it is bomb, like bomb. I'm gonna keep using it and let you guys know if it continues to be bomb and like how it fades and all of that, if it dries you out, cause I am picky about my cell standards. I'm gonna go in and bake with the Beauty Bakery Translucent Powder. I'm trying to like kind of keep you guys up to date on what I'm actually doing with my makeup. I want to talk to you guys about something that is gonna be extremely hard for me to talk about. And last night I actually tried to film this video and I put it off and put it off and put it off all day. Oh, I'm just talking about it, I'm like whew, getting all lightheaded. I feel like I'm finally in a place where I can talk about this. Oh God, I have a lump in my throat. And I've been contemplating when to tell you guys this, how to tell you guys this, how to talk about it. And I decided that I wanted to address it in a lighthearted way, you know, sitting here doing my makeup and not make it like too serious and too deep because then it'll just be really hard for me. But I wanna talk about last year and I want to talk about my weight. I know that my weight has been a topic of discussion for a few months now, and I have put on quite a few pounds since my lipsticks launched. If we're just gonna be totally honest, that's when it started. I have put on, God, close to 30 pounds this year in like the past eight months. And um, there is a reason for it. And I wanna talk about it because I can't post a picture or a video or an Instagram story without people talking about how fat I am and especially my face. Like I just get so much hate for my face. Like your face is so fat, what's wrong with you? And so many people accuse me of getting fillers and Botox. You need to calm down with the fillers and the Botox. And I've never addressed this in a serious way. I've made little tweets and comments before like, it's not fillers, like calm down. But I've never actually talked about what's really going on. First of all, you guys, if you are not educated in fillers and Botox, Botox only lasts for a couple of month, months and 
fillers, which are, you can get diff different kinds of fillers, but Juvederm, Voluma, they last maybe up to a year. It depends how active you are, if, how fast your metabolism is, if you work out a lot, but it lasts for like a year, maybe a year and a few months, and they completely dissolve. So if you get fillers, you have to keep doing it. That's why you'll see like my lips will fluctuate in size because you gotta go get them done again because they go down. At this current time, I have fillers in my nose and I have fillers in my lips. I have not gotten my lips done since December of 2019 though, but I can still tell that it has not fully worn off yet. And the longer you do filler for, like the longer it lasts, if that makes sense. Nobody in their right mind, nobody is gonna get filler here and here and here. Those are not ideal places to get filler to widen and puff. That's just not how it works. I have not had filler anywhere in my face, anywhere in over two and a half years. Yeah, but honestly, I don't owe that to anybody but myself. And if I wanna fill my face every single week for the rest of my life, that's my prerogative. But I want to talk to you guys about what's actually going on because Okay, I'm just gonna stop doing my makeup for a second and just say what I wanna say so I can get it out and then do my brows and then come back with a clear mind because I feel like I just wanna turn off the camera and run away right now. Um, as you guys know, last year when I launched my brand, it was a total flop and a total failure. And I had a moment where it broke my heart and I cried about it later. I went to Colleen's birthday party. Colleen Miranda Sings went to her birthday party and had such a fun time. And then at the end of the night, we all sat around in her family room and played this game hot seat. And everyone has to sit in a chair in the front of the room. And then the group can ask them three questions, whatever questions it is, it doesn't matter. You can ask them, how much money did you make last year? You can ask them, are you a virgin? Did you brush your teeth today? Doesn't matter, three questions. And Colleen asked me the first question. She says, did you really not know that your lipsticks had fuzzies on them. And that to me was such a moment. I was like, oh my God, like even my fellow peers, like people I look up to, like really genuinely are questioning my integrity right now. And I like kept it together and I explained how absolutely not, why would I ever put out a product like that and destroy my name? And I know that people think, oh, she did it for money. They're old and expired and she did it for money. You guys, I'm just gonna be honest with you, like on a business end of things, I did not make a penny, not one cent on that launch. I lost. A ton of money I did not make one dime on that launch I felt like an idiot I handled the whole thing so poorly and then I was disappointed in myself for the way I handled it because I was in a state of panic and shock and I was trying to like boss up and like fix and figure it out but I was in such a state of panic that I was it, it was just such a messy year you guys and at the end of the day to cope with my anxiety and my depression I turned to alcohol and started drinking to fix what I was feeling mentally, but I've never been a heavy drinker. I've always just like drank with my friends for fun, socially, you know, th that's it. And I honestly don't even like being drunk. That's not what it's about. But this year I discovered, oh, when you have a couple of drinks, your brain just kind of relaxes and my brain just goes crazy. My anxiety gets so bad, you guys, that I uncontrollably throw up. Last year, I would say there was a couple months period where I was probably throwing up five days a week, just uncontrollably. I would wake up in the morning and I would just be so anxious and so miserable that I would run to the bathroom. Sometimes I wouldn't even make it to the toilet or the sink because of my anxiety. I would just, I would cry so hard and get myself so worked up that I would puke and it was awful. It, it was just dark and I turned to alcohol. And so when I would start to get anxiety, I just immediately am like, all right, uh, I need a shot, I need a drink, I need a cocktail, like I need something, like I just numb it. Like instead of using Xanax or Valium or an Ativan or whatever prescription drug, I have been using alcohol to self-medicate. And that is why my face has been so swollen. That's why you saw it throughout the year get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why it is where it is now. On days where I would be so full of anxiety and I would drink more than other days, I would wake up in the morning and my face would be so swollen and my eyes would be so puffy and I would just cry because I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm fine with gaining weight. I'm fine with gaining weight in my body. I'm fine with it. I don't care. But what the weight represents is what makes me so upset. So when people tell me you're fat, your face is swollen, you need to stop getting fillers. It like, it, it triggers me in a way. Cause I'm like, oh my God, like I wouldn't look like this if I didn't make such poor decisions. I wouldn't look like this if I didn't hurt myself by self-medicating with alcohol. But yeah, I, I went to a doctor and talked to him about what's been going on and uh, he was explaining to me, you know, how alcohol affects the body and my body does not deal well with it and that is all of this. So at this current point in my life, I have just started going to therapy again. I'm actually going to therapy 
two to three days a week. I know it's a lot, but it's not just talk therapy. I'm doing different different types of therapy because this month going into the hospital and being so sick was my wake up call where I was like, I, I don't ever wanna feel like this again. I need to get healthier. I need to get to a better place. I need to eat better. I need to change my life. I need to change my world. I have found this amazing doctor. Oh my gosh, she's incredible. And between her and my therapist, they're working together and we're gonna get me on the right track and back into the right place, you know, and work on my anxiety and my depression on a deep level without medication. I am not against medication for those things. I just personally don't wanna do it. I don't wanna put it in my body. No prescription drugs, no alcohol. I just want to learn how to ground myself in a natural way. So that's my journey right now. I'm doing better, but I'm not out of it. I'm struggling right now. I'm having a really hard time because it is real. Every day I open up my eyes and I'm like, I sit up in bed, I'm like, is it gonna be a good day? please Lord, let it be a good day. Cause there's some days where I won't even get out of bed all day long. I won't put on a bra, I won't get dressed. Like I just won't get out of bed and I'm so over it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so done with it. I'm over these demons. I'm over last year, I'm moving on. And so I have been contemplating talking to you guys about this for so long, but I just haven't been ready. But after this month, I was just like, all right, I'm in a place where I can finally come forward and talk about what's been going on, why I look this way, why I've been so absent. And you know, when I do drink, I don't wanna be on social media. You know, it's like, I don't wanna have something slip out of my mouth, it's stupid, or like post something that I'm like, why did I post that? Like, you know, like I don't wanna do that. So I have been so absent because of that, but that's gonna change. So give me a little time just to fix myself. I have a full on mapped out plan with my therapist and my doctor and how things are gonna change and my family is really excited. And yeah, I see 2020 being the best year ever and an incredible thing for me to look back on. But right now, I just wanted to tell you guys that. So for those of you who are struggling with anything, if you are on antidepressants and wanna get off of them, you know, I have had three people in my life who've struggled with that. You know, if you rely on prescription drugs, you know, Xanax for your anxiety or whatever it may be, or if you're drinking to fill something or suppress something, just know that <laughs> literally you are not alone. Millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people go through the exact same thing. And it does not make you an addict. It does not make you a f up. It doesn't make you a failure. It just makes you human. It makes you real. You fell into a hole and you can crawl out of it because I'm going to crawl out of it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to crawl out of it. And yeah, it's going to be great. <sighs> okay, I'm going to start crying. So I'm going to do my brows. I'll be back. I am back composed and I have my brows on. So now I'm gonna go in and do just a, oh my God, do just a little shadow. Maybe I'll do a wing or a smoked out liner. I'm not in the mood to do something like crazy today, like no smoky eye or anything like that. Maybe I'll do kind of a bold lip, but I'm not sure. Today was definitely more about talking to you guys more than anything. Oh, there's so many palettes around me, what do I use? So another thing that I wanna talk about, I am just full of subjects today. This is a conversation that I, do not want to have and it has been extremely stressful but I just want to be totally open with you guys and be honest because I see on social media a lot especially the past year a lot people saying oh you only come to YouTube when you want to sell something you know you're only present on social media when you want to sell something all you care about is the money like you just want to sell something right I mean those of you who know me know that's not true especially after everything that I just got done telling you you know why I've been so absent as of recently it, I'm not here just to sell something but I love to create product and I sell products and especially now that I have my own cosmetic brand I'm gonna be putting out product obviously you know and I'm not gonna do YouTube forever I don't know when my career is gonna end but especially after this video I am definitely feeling much more excited and light heart to light-hearted to film because it has been really rough the past several months because I just feel ashamed of myself in so many different ways but I completely understand why so many of you guys feel that way I completely understand why you feel like I only come on camera because I want to sell something because I come out with products and I'm so excited about them and I just want to apologize if I ever come across in that way because that breaks my heart because at the end of the day I have dreamt of creating product since I ever dreamt of creating a YouTube channel. Product is my number one passion. Makeup is my number one passion. And I started YouTube because of that very thing. And YouTube has made me able to create product. And it's because of YouTube that I am where I'm at. And I am so eternally grateful. And I am so sorry if I ever seem like I am not grateful or if I take this career that I have and you guys for granted because that could not be further from the truth. I am so appreciative of you guys. I love you and appreciate your support more than anything. Like. 
I say it all the time, when you guys come up to me in public, I get so excited because I'm like, I get to meet someone who actually likes my pictures and comments on my videos. Like, I know that you guys feel like you know me so well, but I don't know you so well. So when I get to meet you, it's the best feeling ever. But I do have a product coming soon, very soon. And I don't wanna say I'm upset about it, because that's not the right word, but I'm extremely disappointed in the timing and disappointed for my lack of presence on social media this month. Obviously, I was unable to be on social media with what was going on in my life and how sick I was, but it literally has been ripping me apart, ripping me apart the past couple of weeks. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna drop a product in February and they're just gonna think, oh yeah, that's the only reason she's back is because she's got something to sell us. And it's like, long story short, I'm coming out with a collaboration, a collaboration that I have worked so hard on and I am so excited to launch because you guys are going to sh your panties. It is so incredible. Like, I don't think anyone is even ready for how amazing this product is that I'm going to be launching in a couple of weeks. But the timing is such garbage. I have been in contact with the company for the past like 10 days back and forth, literally demanding that we push it back a couple of months because I'm like, I have not been on social media. I'm going to look like I'm just here to make a sale and I'm only coming back to YouTube because of that. And like, people aren't going to understand what's been going on and like this whole thing. Like, everything I've been talking about to you guys this whole video, they cannot do it. Like the CEO tried so hard, I mean, so hard, and they cannot do it. They cannot push my launch. We are launching in a couple of weeks and I just hope that you guys really do like hear what I'm saying and feel my heart and know I understand where you're coming from when you say these things. When I see these tweets, I understand. I really hope that when you guys see the product that I'm gonna reveal next week, I really hope that you guys are so excited and you still support me. But yeah, so <laughs> I just wanted to come, like I just wanted to be honest and come clean about that because I see it and I understand why. And honestly guys, I don't wanna be launching a product right now either, but I have worked so hard on it and I know that like, Everyone always makes fun of how long I work on things for because I'm like, I have worked on this for exactly 18 months and four days and 13 hours, like literally. But I have been working on this since the end of 2018. So I'm gonna embrace it. I am so excited for it. The campaign is so beautiful. The product is incredible and I know you guys are gonna love it. So please just like, please have my back. Please support me in this. I am sorry that I've been absent. I'm sorry for everything that I, just everything. I'm just, 2019 sucked and I'm sorry to myself, honestly. Okay, I just put a little shadow as liner right here on my upper lid and then I'm just gonna pop a little highlight on my brow bone. I'm like, just a little bit, you know, very casual. <laughs> on a different note, can we talk about Demi Lovato's new song? Because holy wow, like when I saw her perform that at the Grammys, I was, it was like an instant, instant love for me. Like sometimes you have to listen to a song a few times, like fall in love with it. That actually happens to me a lot. But that song, I was bawling my eyes out probably <laughs> one minute into her performance. And then I think I knew every single word by that night and I was belting it in the shower, like at the top of my lungs. I am obsessed. I think it is such an incredible song and she's just so, oh, she's so honest and so real. And I, I love Demi Lovato. Okay, lashes are on. This one was being a little bitch, to be quite honest. So kind of is poking the inner corner of my eye, but who cares, moving on. I'm just gonna put a little shadow on my lower lash line, just a little bit. I want it to be soft. I wanna have a soft look today. What I always find so interesting is when I go a long time without wearing makeup, I feel like I don't need as much. Like typically this eye look, I would be like, oh my God, like I need more. Like I would wanna put like thicker liner here. I would want to do like my bottom way more blown out, like crazier highlight, but like, just seeing myself like this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I look great. Cause I have seen myself just bare faced, pale, just like ugh, dark circles for so long that I'm like, oh, I don't need all of that. All right, let me highlight that inner corner. That's a step that I, I, I cannot ever not highlight my inner corner. Like I feel like if I look at myself in the mirror with makeup on and don't see highlight in my inner corner, I'm like, oh, I just need it. It's one of my favorite steps in my makeup routine. Okay, I have not put mascara on in so long. My bottom eyelashes are losing their minds right now. So this is totally random. 
from anything that I've been talking about this entire video. But like I said earlier, when you see something that you like, you should compliment it, call it out, make someone feel good about themselves, you know? Well, right before I started filming, I talked on the phone. I FaceTimed actually with Jeffree Star. He FaceTimed me and we just talked for like 15, 20 minutes. And I have to say, he has just been so real and so encouraging. And I have to call it out because if you guys only knew half of the stuff and the things that happen in just the fakery behind the scenes and everything, not just YouTube and with, you know, beauty influencers or anything like that. And no, I'm not calling anybody out directly. I'm just saying in general, like it's really hard to find real people who genuinely just like will have a conversation and more than anything, encourage you. And you know, I talked to him on the phone and he was just so kind to me and so encouraging and just like, just wants to see me succeed. And it just, it, it felt so good to see someone who has so much and is such a powerhouse and a CEO and just huge in this community talk to me after everything I've been through and just be kind to me, you know? Like he's just always been kind to me and he's had my back through this, you know? He's just been so great. So I just wanna take a time, take a moment to say that I really appreciate him just for being so real and so honest because in the middle of all of last year, a lot of people didn't want to talk to me. I'm just still going with my blush and I need to stop. A lot of people didn't want to talk to me because it's like, you get scared, you get nervous. You're like, oh God, I don't want to get pulled into that. I don't want to lose followers, I don't want to lose subscribers. But Jeffrey is just not about that. Jeffrey doesn't give a shit. Like he's just had my back and I appreciate it. Let's spray this bitch. Ah, I don't have a fan. <laughs> I'm going to do highlight last. I'm going to put on a lip first. This is Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade bad little thing oh my god i haven't put a liquid lipstick on in so long i feel like i'm gonna do such a crappy job but hope for the best five hours later holy cow that took longer than i am proud to admit <laughs> but this is my first time wearing this color and it's so beautiful the viewfinder is making it look really pink so i don't know if it looks really pink on camera but it actually is like a more like kind of berry burgundy-ish it's gorgeous though. I like, I am very surprised by how much I love this. I'm ashamed. I don't even have my brushes in here to highlight with, <laughs> but I'm just gonna use mood light today. I just want like something subtle and soft, just that inner glow. So I'm just gonna stick with this. I never get sick of these highlights. God. All right, you guys. So that is a wrap on this video. I know that it wasn't really like about makeup. I was just doing my makeup while talking to you guys, but I feel like more than anything, this is gonna be a video that people who don't know me may not care about, but my ride or dies, my hillsters, the ones who've been here with me for a long time, this video is for you guys, catching you up on my life and everything that's been going on. I am so terrified right now. I feel like someone is strangling me, like, ugh, cause this is just like, very hard to talk about. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have anything nice to say, please say it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.